In this video, we're going to discuss mnemonic devices for how to remember all six of our sum and difference identities for our trig uh, trigonometric functions. So because we're dealing with two different angles, I'm going to go with alpha and beta. Now, sine of a sum formula takes on the following form. Uh, let's see, that's a uh, cosine alpha. That's the order I want to write everything. All right, good stuff. And sine of a difference formula. Alpha minus beta, literally the exact same thing, just with a minus instead of a plus. All right. For cosine of a sum formula, cosine of alpha plus beta, we are going to see cosine alpha, cosine beta, minus sine alpha sine beta and then cosine of a difference that'll be cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine alpha sine beta okay so these are uh, these are the four that I want to focus on for this one so <clears throat> all four of these formulas take on the form of a trig function of alpha plus or minus beta. Now over on the right hand side for all four of these you'll notice that I'm trying to stay consistent with the order of the angles. The angles are always going to be alpha beta alpha beta. So whatever the order is here we're going to maintain the same order on these. Now for the sine of a sum or a difference the first thing we see is sine and for the cosine of a sum or difference the first thing we see is cosine. So we're going to remember that as the first thing that you're going to see is just cover up the angle beta and recopy whatever that is. So blank of alpha, where this will be the same thing. The second thing that we write down in all four cases, cosine beta, cosine beta, cosine beta, cosine beta, that's going to be cosine beta. What comes after that will either be a plus sign or a minus sign. Now for sine of a sum, we'll see a sum. For sine of a difference, we'll see a difference. So for the sine, that's going to be same. So sum is a sum, difference is a difference. Cosine is the opposite. Man, I wish it were called the docine so that we could say docine is different or osine for opposite. Uh, cosine um, is contrary. I realize that's not a great one, but if you can remember that sine is the same and cosine is the opposite, it'll work out pretty well. For the third trig function that we write down, for the sine, it'd be the cosine, and for the cosine, it's the sine. The other way that you can remember this is that the fourth thing that you're going to be writing down is going to be the sine of beta. And all four of these use each of these exactly once. Sine of alpha, cosine of alpha, sine of beta, and cosine of beta. So this one's going to be the opposite or the co-function. As long as you remember that they all get used once, and that cosine beta goes here and sine beta goes here and that this one will be the same you just fill in the gaps with the last one. Now as far as the tangent is concerned you actually have a couple options for this. As long as you keep in mind that ultimately this is all going to be in terms of the tangent as long as you remember sine goes on top and cosine goes on bottom then sine is same and cosine is different. In the numerator, the tangents will go in the same order, so tangent alpha, tangent beta, and in the denominator, it'll still go tangent alpha, tangent beta, but those two will be multiplied together. It'll be after the one that you get. Same thing works for tangent of a difference, tangent of alpha minus beta. So numerator sine, Denominator is cosine, so same and contrary. And then write down the exact same functions. Tangent alpha, tangent beta, 
tangent alpha, tangent beta. So hopefully this helps you uh, to remember what goes where.